Excited. I'm very excited. Or scared. I don't know. Oh my god. Come on. Co what? Give me a cute Pokemon. <sighs> Which one? What the heck? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. I'm a beaver. <laughs> Why do I never get a cute or a girl character? Why? Please. What the heck? Who the hell? <laughs> what character is this? You are a random bird from that uh, one Pixar movie. Yes. Give me bubbles. Oh, there's only... Oh, no, wait. Oh, my God. Uh, the majority of characters was girls, and I still didn't get one. What else? Make sure to look under your bed. Guys, I'm scared. Finally, now I can keep these pennies to myself. What the hell? I smell pennies! <laughs> so, I've never had a more deserving intro of this than today's video. Um, so, I found this a couple weeks ago while cleaning. What's oh. this, you might ask? Why, it's my real 10 slash 11 year old self's diary and or journal. I filled this whole book while I was 10 going on 11. Oh, uh, and 12. Three years of my life is in this. And my first thought was, this must be burned. Nobody should ever see this. But then I started reading it and I was like, wow, burn it. This is so embarrassing, but also pretty hilarious and might be relatable to a lot of young viewers who may feel really weird and cringy at times and embarrassed. I just want you all to know that I was also like you. So there's obviously way too much that I have written. Like, look at this. I also have drawings, <laughs> but like full on novels written. Novels with pictures and cutouts, <laughs> like a scrapbook of embarrassment. I obviously filled this. I'm not gonna be able to read all of it in a video, but if you like this, dear God, if you like this video, <laughs> like digitally with a like, maybe I will do another one. And just so you all have a picture in your head of who's writing this, what version of Lauren is writing this? Here's a photo. Is this me around 10 years old? 10, 11. Maybe I'll throw a couple photos in right here if I can find a couple. Yeah, that's who's writing this right now. Uh, I also did not know how to spell the majority of words. <laughs> Case in point, I spelled journal wrong. I spelled in sync wrong. I spelled skip wrong. Yeah, welcome to me. So I've posted it what sections I want to read, and I'm going to have them animated. <laughs> <laughs> to make it more interesting and possibly not as sad. Ahem. <clears throat> March 31st, 2000. Dear journal. Hi, journal. It's me, <laughs> Lauren. I am happy 
but I would be more happy if my disc man was up here in my room instead of downstairs. Because if I had it, I could listen to my new in-sync CD, No Strings Detached, just to set the picture of what year this was. <laughs> and then I went on to talk about how excited I was to go to the mall. <laughs> Moving on to the juicy stuff. September 13th, 2000. Dear Journal. Well, I haven't wrote in a while and school started. I have to tell you something. <laughs> Today at the end of the day, C told me that they made up a cute list. Oh no. For reference, the person C that I'm talking to is a boy. For him, G is first. C told me I was third. <laughs> I asked who was second, and he said it was my best friend, basically. So it was my friend, and then my best friend, and then me. <laughs> On the cute list. I said, so I'm not cute? <laughs> and he goes, oh, well, at least you ranked. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> I can feel it through the journal. All my childhood trauma. <laughs> I felt like crying when my friend who was ranked first came over. <laughs> you know, just to pour salt in the wound. I told her and she told C. When he was about to say something, I walked out the door to the bus. In the bus, I saw him in the window. He was trying to mouth out sorry, but I played dumb to make him feel guilty all night. I'm pretty sure he probably went home and did not care. <laughs> he was like, oh, well, whatever. I'll just tell her the next day. When I got done with my homework, I went upstairs and cried. Oh my God. I'm reading this to the internet. I'm reading this to potentially millions of people. Oh God. Okay, I hate boys. <laughs> My best friend made me feel better when she said I should have been first or second on both their lists because I was pretty... <laughs> Basically not her, because she wanted to make sure that her ranking stayed the same, but the other, my other friend. <laughs> no offense, no offense. I'm gonna play hard to get tomorrow and tell him a piece of my mind. I guarantee I did not. See, you're gonna get it. Even if I do forgive him, I will never in my heart. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We're only in the first, that was the first long regular entry. Oh, the next day, let's see, let's see what I did. Did I beat him up? Did I tell him a piece of my mind? Oh, sorry, it's not the next day, it's a week later. <laughs> September 30th, 2000. Dear Journal, hi, it's me, <laughs> as opposed to anybody else. Oh, to let you know, I took care of C. <laughs> Did I kill him? I'll never tell. And that was it. I didn't exact. I guarantee I did not do anything or say anything. <laughs> I was probably like, no, it's cool. I, I totally understand. Oh no. <laughs> You're all just gonna feel really bad for me at the end of this video. I feel bad for me. <laughs> if you feel bad for me, make sure you subscribe. It helps. <laughs> helps me not feel so low. Today, I wrote a note to A. Another boy I like. Another. I'm pretty sure I just liked everybody. Anybody who gave me attention, I was like, yeah. And I asked if he liked me. He said he would tell me tomorrow. Never a good sign. <laughs> Never a good sign if you have to sleep on it to find out whether you like someone, kinda. Tomorrow, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> now I'm thinking he hates me. But as soon as A gets to his desk, C, the boy who made the cute list and put me at the bottom, and G, another boy, start talking to him. A little while later, C and G come back and tell me that A, this is getting a little confusing, I apologize, says I'm nice and in air quotes, good looking. What does this mean? <laughs> You're good looking. <laughs> does that sound like a compliment? You're good looking. <laughs> but he wants to get to know me more. Mm, pretty sure that's not. Mm, he's trying to be nice. So he wants to hang out with the five of us. Cool. I still like G though. The other, another boy <laughs> that was also, what? Just to let you know, I'm not using A by telling him I like him even though I like another boy and none of them really know I exist. <laughs> I would never do that. Now I have to find out what he says tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, in friend news, my friend and best friend have been doing this thing where they hold up one or two fingers. I didn't know what it was until today. It was counting down for their sleepover, not our sleepover, their sleepover. I was not invited. <laughs> my friend goes one today, but zero tomorrow. 
tomorrow. Yeah, they've been treating me really mean and rude lately. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I'll write tomorrow to tell you if everything comes out good in the end. I'm sure it will, though. It always does. Does it, though? <laughs> and then the next journal entry is not until October 7th, 2000. Let's see what happened with the whole A situation and whether he decided he liked me or not. Dear journal, there's not much to say about what happened with me and A, so let me make this short. He doesn't like me. Oh well. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Why are you listening to my secret private diary recordings that it's going out to the public internet? Everybody was mean to me. Bye. Well, that was the most passive aggressive journal entry. My husband's now laughing at me. At least I'm not alone now. <laughs> I had my friends having a sleepover without me. I was at the bottom of the cute list. A boy I kind of sort of liked <laughs> told me that he didn't like me back. My life is falling apart. All right, we're now skipping ahead to June 8th of 2001. Come along, come along with me on this <laughs> very sad, depressing journey. <laughs> oh, and embarrassing. We can't forget about embarrassing. Dear Journal, I just came back from the eighth grade graduation dinner dance. I was not there because of that though. I was there because my mom and dad had to help cook for the festival tomorrow. I did the drinks for the dance though. My other friend came and we had so much fun with the sodas. Don't know what that means. Don't know what we did. At one time I walked, oh no. At one time I walked into the gym hallway and listened to the dance music. It was a slow dance song that made me think, I thought, <laughs> I wrote it like this. I thought maybe one day I will be dancing with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. I also thought about how some boys make you happy and that everyone has a lover somewhere. Hi, I'm your lover. I hope I make you happy. I wanted a boyfriend and a lover. And a lover to make you happy. I was 11. You know what the boys were probably interested in at this point? Like sports and like video games and skateboarding. And I'm standing by myself at a slow dance in the hallway thinking, well, I want to have a lover. <laughs> Very ambitious of you. Oh, I regret yeah. this video already. I better be getting so many pity subscriptions and likes. It's not even funny. Tell me how bad you feel for me in the comments. My husband does now. Oh no, <laughs> just keeps getting worse. Well, I better go to bed. I got the festival tomorrow and maybe I will get to dance with the boy I like. And who knows, maybe I'll have a boyfriend by the end of the night. Who's that? You didn't even say who, it's your journal. Who are you worried is gonna read this? You already wrote so much already embarrassing things. Why did you put the name? Just a boy I like, doesn't matter. One of them, please one of them will dance with me, be my boyfriend. I'm 11, girl. This one's a long entry, so maybe this will be the final one in Lauren reads the most embarrassing things about herself for the entire internet. <laughs> June 14th, 2001. Dear journal, hi, it's me. I have not been able to write a lot this week because I had to study for finals. Oh, I have to tell you, I like A again. <laughs> I thought that was okay. Because I talk to him every day now and I've grown to like him. That's all it takes. Just talking to me every day, I'll like you. I don't know if I should ask him out though because I'm afraid he will say no. He will. You just asked him a couple months ago if he liked you and he said no. He put a star on me, which is on the bottom of this page. Fine, I will show it just as proof. The star A gave me today. I'm trying to hide the names. Emily knows everything. Editor Emily knows everything. I don't know why I would have to prove all these embarrassing things, but <laughs> there you go. I have this star from 21 years ago still in here. He put a star on me, which is on the bottom of this page you just saw. I kept it safe all day. <laughs> I feel like I was on track to be like a yandere. Maybe that's why I played that game so much. It's just my inner preteen crazy girl coming out. I kept it safe all day. Man, A is so hot. We are 11. <laughs> Nobody's hot at 11. I told my best friends that I liked him and they did not believe me at first. I would, I apparently like everybody. I want to make them ask him if he likes me, but I don't know if I should. This is so adorable and cringy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should tell A how I feel about him to see if he really does like me. He does not. Cause why should I like him if he doesn't like me? <laughs> I mean, uh, 
It's a valid point. And I have to figure this out in less than a week. Why? <laughs> Why is there a time limit? Wait, what was the day? Oh, because it's summer. We're, we're dissecting this. Because it's almost summer break, probably. Then I won't see him for a couple months. Okay, I'm definitely ending on this last part of the journal because it's gonna hurt me to read. So glad my husband went upstairs now and can't hear. I mean, he'll probably watch this later. I would, you know, what I would want journal. <laughs> That's how I wrote it. A guy to hug. I would love to hug a boyfriend. I don't have, that's all I wanted. I just wanted a hug. I just wanted a hug. You know why? Because I was 11. I don't know why I cared about having a boyfriend so much. I would love to hug a boyfriend. I don't have one, sad face. Last night, I had a dream that A suddenly hugged me and began to cry. I tried to comfort him, but he still cried. Then he looked at me and gave me a kiss on the lips, <laughs> as opposed to anywhere else. I don't know what, I, oh my God, I'm so, I just wanna hug every single preteen girl out there. <laughs> That's what this journal makes me want. Because I know that this is not, I mean, I'm probably also a, very much a weirdo, a very sentimental weirdo who just wants a hug from a boy. But I also know a lot of preteen girls that like think and act and talk like this. So I just want to give you all a hug. <laughs> Hopefully this is some sort of internet hug where you're like, oh, okay, I'm weird and embarrassing, but not as bad as Lauren was. When I got up, I thought it was real. But when I noticed it was a dream, my heart sank. Hey, journal. <laughs> oh, I'm asking the journal to wish for me. Okay, hey journal, can you wish that whenever I ask A or whoever else I ask to go out with, that they say yes, please journal. Oh, and journal, hope that dream was meant to tell me something and that I have one like it again. Maybe, sorry, I was like scribbling. I don't know what was happening at the end of this. Maybe he does like me, he doesn't. Or maybe he doesn't, he doesn't. Whatever I find out, I will tell you. P.S. When I... P.S. When I... <laughs> P.S. <laughs> I can't do it. When I rub that star on the first page, it brings good luck between me and A. Uh, I can't. I was going back to this page and just like touching the star and being like, this is my good luck charm. It's my good luck charm. He will love me like some sort of witch. <laughs> and then I went to, I... This hurts so much more to read than I anticipated. And I'm ending <laughs> it there for my own sanity.